All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to this Vancouver Huskies expansion franchise. That's what it's called. Um, I know it's been a bit since I have actually uploaded this, but um, first of all, I want to address if the screen looks weird, it's because I have a shader on for like gameplay, and I don't know how to shut it off. So it, that that's that's why the screen looks all weird. So I mean, we're gonna have to deal with that. I have no idea how to shut it off, but. Um, if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. I've been trying to post every other day. We do have a podcast every Saturday. Starts at 6 o'clock Eastern. And it's uploaded the next day on Sunday at 2 o'clock, my normal upload time. Anyways, back to this franchise. As you can see in the bottom right, we are 32 and 50. Michael Porter Jr. and RJ Barrett had career years. RJ Barrett dropped 21 points a game. And Michael Porter Jr. had 20 points on 8 rebounds a game. But we're currently in the offseason and we're at the draft lottery. Now, if we go to, I believe, uh, not pro mock drafts, we are projected to have the fifth overall pick in this draft. So, going to the draft lottery, let's see. We also have another pick. Who? Is we have Denver's pick. I don't know how we got Denver's pick. Did we make a trade with them? We probably traded one of our vets that were playing really well. This screen looks is hurting my eyes. I wish I knew how to turn off this. What you call it? Anyways, the shader. That's what it's called. Um, I'm going to skip manually. The Knicks get the 16th pick now in the lottery. All right. They got that via Dallas. 15th pick. We're most likely going to get this. And we do. We get the 15th pick in the NBA draft along with possible top five pick. I am literally just spamming X trying to get through this. Like, hurry, hurry your ass up. I wish there was a thing where you can just sim to your draft. The Emeralds fall to 13. Wow, the Raptors and the Spurs just moved in the top four, but that, that's bad for us, honestly. The Emeralds fall all the way to 13. I forgot what they were projected. And that means we might have fell out of the top five, seeing the Raptors and the Spurs just moved into the top five. Pacers have projected 12. That's going to go to the Pacers. I'm scared we're going to get like six or eight. The Kings, let's see what they get. They get their pick, all right. Um... I would say if anything changed, I'd skip to it. But, I mean, we're getting through this somewhat quickly. The Magic still get their pick at 10. I have a feeling we're going to get 8. I just have a feeling. I don't think we're going to get our pick. The Knicks you get 9. Uh, Something happened with the 16th pick. Um, Wizards, 8. The Wizards get 8. So, listen, I want that 5th pick. I mean, anything higher would be great. All right, we fell to 7, possibly. And we fall down to 7 because of the Raptors and Spurs. So, we get the 7th pick. And the sixth, I mean fifteenth pick in the NBA draft. The Bulls, the Raptors fall go all the way to three, and the Spurs go to four. The Thunder fall down to two, and the Bulls get the number one pick. We fall down to seven. Staff signings, we already got. Actually, we're gonna fire. We're gonna fire our whole, whole entire staff, to be honest, because <laughs> they all kind of suck. Um, yep, everyone's getting fired. Head coach Mike D'Antoni. Do we want? I kind of want to sign a real life coach. I'm not going to sign Popovich. That's very unrealistic. This is meant to be somewhat realistic. Um, like an assistant coach of a good team is very realistic. Um, Sam Cassell, eh. Let's see, Jason Kidd, like Ron Adams. I don't know. There's no one here. I'm looking at that's like, ah, I want, I want that person as my coach. Right now, it's um, Mike D'Antoni. I might try. I might throw an offer at Mike D'Antoni. I'm gonna throw an offer at Mike D'Antoni. We have plenty of money, so no one's giving him any offer. Assistant coach, uh, Trent Peterson, no. Um, go with Benjamin Walker. He seems he seems like a good assistant coach. Give him 900k. Head scout. I kind of want this dude. Dean Weasley, Wes Wesley, not Weasley. There's not even an A in there. Wesley. Give him that trainer, best one available. Give him that contract, assistant GM. You're the best one available? No, you're not. Okay. That dude looks like Van Oss. Uh, and then CFO. I guess Logan Schmidt. Um, do we, I think we get all of them, right? We got all of them. We got our all star staff. <laughs> it ain't an all star staff. Um, I don't care about pre draft workouts and all that. Now, here's the thing do we, you know, pick our players with these picks? Oh, pick our players. Do we use these draft picks or do we trade them? That is the question. I wish there was a trade block in this game where you can see who's on the market. So, like, the better thing would be to look for a good team. Maybe, like, the Raptors. Maybe, like, the Pacers. 
a team that's good on paper that didn't make the playoffs, like an Old Depot, and maybe try and make a trade with them. Listen, if I could get a Bradley Beal trade or even a Russell Westbrook trade, that'd be great. It mainly has to be a Bradley Beal trade. Hornets, no, I don't want no one from their team. Thunder, no. Uh, hmm. I do not know. I think DeMar's a free agent. I don't think we have enough assets to grab a Bradley Beal. But you know what? I will try. I will definitely try. I will throw you the 7th pick, the 15th pick, um, and whoever we have under contract. Uh, we have... No, not... I don't want... Verdon Carey. He's, he's one star. Yikes. Let's see. Verdon Carey, no. Claxton. And Ronda Hall Jefferson. Okay, kind of figured that wasn't going to happen. Can we trade up? Let's do both of them. See if we can trade up. Why is there something at the bottom of there? You know what? I won't ask. Um, Precious Achua. That's kind of sick. I don't think I'm going to do it, but... Hmm. So far, nothing. We can move up. Actually, we're not even moving up. We get bogged on, but... That that's not, doesn't seem like a great trade. Um, Clint Capel's on the Pacers. Don't know why. Fred Van Vliet. Huh. I don't, this is not realistic at all. They just re-signed him. If anything, they would trade Lowry. They wouldn't trade Van Vliet. Draymond and Pat, no. Uh, Brian, no, there's no trades. I think I'm just going to make my pick. Um, Claxton, he averaged 4-3. and three. He'll be a solid backup big. Ronda Howell's Drifton actually had a really good season with us. I don't think I'm going to make any trades. I think I'm just going to go sim to our pick and make both picks. So, I don't know what we need, actually. Uh, we received offers. Tyrese Maxey, no. Kevin Love, no. Aaron Neesmith. So we still got Precious up there, but we do have Michael Porter Jr., so I'm not going to do that trade. The trades are around the same, though, so. I mean, yeah. I Oh, no. I'm just going to I'm just gonna choose a prospect here. Greg Brown, who is ranked third. He's a power forward. He's still on the board. Jalen Johnson, Usman Garuba, Jonathan Kuminga, Jalen Suggs. He's a power forward. He's ranked three. He was ranked one. Uh, he's we're not we didn't scout him very well. He is the best power forward in the class. He's six nine, nice, four blocks a game. He shot bad though. His defense is all right. I mean, it's not great, especially perimeter. Um, this would be a real risk, taking him. That's the thing. Um, I don't know if I want to risk it. Especially when we got a player like Jalen Johnson here. Who we also didn't scout. But he, he, I wouldn't say he's an offensive beast according to his stats. But he wasn't scouted. Like, who do we have scouted good? No one, right? Yeah, no. This is tough. Jonathan Kuminga. He shot terrible. Caleb Love, we don't need a point guard. We need like a, a power forward or a small forward. Because we have... RJ Hampton, we have um, RJ Barrett, we have I think we had Rondé starting small forward we have Michael Porter Jr. and we don't have a center I don't think so do I want to risk Greg Brown? I think we can go for it I think I'm going to draft Greg Brown Greg Brown drafted to the Huskies, we're going to send him to our next pick, maybe, maybe there's a small forward there let's see, there is a small forward here Usman Garuba is still here Jonathan Kuminga is also still here Scotty Lewis, okay. Usman Garuba. Uh, hmm, no, I think I might go Kuminga here. 25 points, 4 blocks, 3 steals. We also have this dude who played pretty bad. I think we're going to go Kuminga, honestly. I think I think Kuminga might be the best pick here. So we're going to go Jonathan Kuminga. And there is no other picks for us. Let's see. We had the... Seventh pick, Greg Brown. He's a 76 overall. Very, very solid. Do I know everything now? Do I? Oh, yeah, I can see his badges. Pick him, roller, pick popper. He has one defense, a badge. Serge Block is his ceiling. No, not a bad ceiling. Not a bad ceiling. Who is the other player I wanted? Jalen Johnson. He was a 76 overall. Ooh. Who, who did we who did we draft? Kumek. He's a 77. Boyan. Boyan ain't out of the league. Maybe he's a free agent, that's why. Alright, this is not... A, okay, we did pretty... Horrible pick. You're stupid. 
77 overall. He's got a really good driving dunk. Mid-range shots. He's not a great shooter, so that's what we're going to have to work on. Very, very good draft, honestly, for us. Pick up two great play. Well, I want to say great yet. On Mike Porter Jr., yes. Yes, we're accepting that. He declined that. Don't really care. Robert Williams was our starting center last year. So that makes sense. I am going to accept it. Um, I'm not going to accept Jonte Porter or Cody Martin. I'm not even going to accept Chris Clemens. There's no need. So free agents. Kawhi declined. Um, other than that, there's really no big free agents in this um, class. Kyle Kuzma. I'm not even sure if I'm going to bring it back. If it is, it will be on a sign and trade. Giannis is a free agent. I'm not going to go after them, but apparently the Spurs want him. And Damar is here with no offers. We almost made a push for the playoffs this year. Listen, I could go for Damar. Seeing that the Spurs are pushing for Giannis, I might just, I'm not going to say go all out, but I might offer DeMar maybe a 1 plus 1 deal. Because right now we got RJ Hampton, we need a backup point guard. We have RJ Barrett, we need a backup shooting guard. We have Kuminga and Hollis Jefferson. We have Greg Brown and Michael Porter Jr. So we need a center, it looks like. We could trade maybe Claxton or Carey for a backup shooting guard. We are looking for a center, though, that's the thing. Oh, we're looking for a center. I mean, a stretch big would be nice. Hassan only wants 11 mil, though. He's not really that good in this 2K. Yeah, 9 and 8. But that was off the bench. I also want a player that's like, fits our timeline. But I also want to make the playoffs. So, I don't know. I might throw Hassan a contract. I might as well. I mean, he only wants 11 mil. Let's see. I, I'm, I'm throwing you 11 mil. I'm not throwing you that much um maybe a two yeah a one plus one deal we'll throw at him um, i'm gonna throw tomorrow deal i'm gonna throw tomorrow deal <laughs> not for 30 mil though um maybe 28 mil that seems more like a tomorrow deal one plus one he declined it okay that makes sense you're just asking for way too much my guy like 30 mil if anything like we want to make the playoffs next year so, you know what? I'll offer it to him. A 1 plus 1 team option. I mean, we have the money. Uh, Young players. Yeah, no. There's really no one here. We're off going by overall and seeing like who's young and not restricted. Uh, Old Depot is another player we could throw at. But we have RJ. If anything, we'd have to move RJ to the small forward. And we'd play Victor. Because I do want to try and make a push for the playoffs. And how are we negative 27 in cap room? Capital? Oh, Kelly. We're, yep. Nope. Bye-bye. All these big cap holds we're getting rid of. Like, I don't plan on bringing back any of these players. Yeah, we had a lot of cap holds. That's, that's, that makes sense. Kuzma might trade. Claxton, I got a cap hold on you, but you're on the roster. Yeah, you're, you're on the roster, aren't you? Yeah, I don't understand why you have a cap hold. Uh, for right now, I mean, do I want to keep Claxton on the team? Or even Robert... I do like Robert Williams. I don't know, because we need a backup shooting guard, and we need a backup point guard. I want to bring DeMar in. Oops. Um, backup point guard. We can get Kyle. I want backup, though. Goran. You know what? I will bring... Oh, for fudge sakes. We get DeMar and Hassan. I don't know why Claxton's there. I guess I'll decline. All right. We still got a lot of money, and I kind of want Goran Dragic on this team. A little bit by 18 mil? Goran! You're asking for 14 there. Why do you want 18 here? You're a really good player, dude, but not freaking 18 mil, even though you're getting paid like 20 mil. Alright. Jesus Christ. Um, shooting guard. Any good backup? Jay Rich? Maybe. We have money to spend, so... Luke Kennard. I, I, we were a bad defensive team. Ooh, Duncan. He's restricted, though, so. We were a bad defensive team, so if anything, I'm looking for perimeter defense. Danny Green, he's going to regress. Dre Rich? Probably. I mean, that's not bad. 17 mil to come off the bench. That's a bit risky. There's no one really... Mm -hmm. Am I going to go more biased and just pick up Dre Rich? <laughs> I'm just going to pick up some of my favorite players. 
I mean, here, Derek White's younger, and he wants always oh, restricted, though, so. No, I'll throw an offer at Jay Rich. I'm mainly throwing, like, one. Yeah, see, why is it 19 mil? You're not getting 19 mil. You have 15 mil. And that's what you're getting. And we'll throw another team option. He declined it. Okay, makes sense. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Shaq Harrison, Derek White. He's restricted, but you know what? I'll throw an offer at him. 13 mil. I don't know if we're going to be able to get him. Yeah, I'm, I'm throwing one plus ones is what I'm doing. Kuzma, I'm fine letting you go. And I think we're going to get Derek White. We got Derek White on the team. Sick. So now we have a lineup of RJ Hampton, um, RJ Barrett, probably DeMar with Kuminga coming off the bench, Michael Porter Jr., and Hassan Whiteside. Looking really good for next season. Really, really good. And if we look at our salary cap table, we still have three mil. So and a lot of them are um, team options. Yeah. Look at that. All of our guys. The dude who's making the most next season is Greg Brown with five mil. So I think this could be a playoff team, possibly. Very, very well could be a playoff team. Michael Porter Jr. goes up three. DeMar drops four. Thank God we give him a team option. He drops down four. He dropped down a lot. Hassan didn't drop at all. I'll take it. RJ goes up five. Derek Way goes up one. I think everyone went up except for Drogic goes down three. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. RJ Hampton goes up three. Summer League, I don't care about. Training camps. Uh, have CPU adjust it. I don't care. Yep, have a CPU adjust it. Have CPU adjust it. Have CPU adjust it. Thank you. We'll auto-generate the draft class. Training camps. What do I want to work on? Obviously, I want the young players. Do I want to send Kumega and Greg Brown to untap potential? Uh, what's their potential? A plus A. There's no need to do that. RJ Hampton. Do I want to send him to shooting? Shot solid from three. He doesn't need playmaking. I might send him to shooting. His prior defense is also solid. Um, I might send um, RJ Hampton to perimeter shooting. Where is he? He's down here. We'll send him. Uh, yeah, okay. I like that. And then we're going to send basketball 101. Uh, shot. Yeah, we'll send that to RJ. So we can get his shot IQ better and shooting percentage is better. And that brings us to the lineup. Goran Dragic's not starting. <laughs> Tell you that much. Actually, I'm going to do the thing where I can make Goran a bench player for the season so he never starts. Uh, where is that? Force non starter. One season, yes. He's wearing number seven. Okay, good. Just wanted to make sure. I got to change the jerseys. I do want to change them a bit. So we got RJ Hampton, RJ Barrett, DeMar DeRozan. We had the two RJs. Um, DeMar DeRozan, Michael Porter Jr., and Hassan. Defense. I mean, this, start, this starting lineup defense-wise is not bad. Hassan, DeMar, and RJ Barrett. Even Hampton can play defense. It's really just Michael Porter Jr. Um, we got Derek White who can play defense off the bench. Robert Williams. Claxton is probably not going to play. Actually, I might move Williams or Claxton to power forward so we have a backup power forward. No, I have Greg Brown. I think I think Claxton's going to be the odd man out here. Honestly. I mean, I prefer Williams. He played really well last season. You, I mean, Claxton barely played, but we're going we're gonna to give those minutes to Greg Brown. I mean, we got to. Um, Derek White. Yeah, I guess. I want to give our starters more minutes, though. 33, the RJ and them. Uh, Kuminga will give 17. I don't want to give Greg Brown just that many. Give 24, 18, 12 minutes? I, I think Greg Brown can get 12 minutes. Running a 10-man rotation, this is a deep team. So, that's good. Do I have... Okay, I don't have those. Deep team. So this is proficiency seven seconds is four stars and that is the best actually so we picked a good coach um we're going to send Vernon carry to the g league um anyone else claxton you probably you might get traded i don't know you're not even playing ronde you're another player that could get traded there's no one else i want to send to the g league and we're going to sim our first game it's against the kings we'll sim with simcast maybe jump in i don't know uh, oh wow, we're losing by a oh wow, we're losing by a lot. Can we come back? We are coming back a bit. Oh, two minutes left. One point game. Forty-two seconds. Two point game. I'm gonna jump in. All right, we're in the game with a weird ass camera. 
Um, we had the starters out. The Kings had... Oh, wait, no. We had the ball. We had the ball. Oh, that would have been bad. That would have been really bad. Let's see. RJ has 13, 6, and 6. We're going to set the screen. Oh, pull up. No, but we got a sound with the board. Ooh, why'd you pass it? I didn't hit pass. All right. We need to score here. Derek White, give it up to Michael Porter Jr. in the lane. Porter Jr. has 28. And we have the game tied 110 to 110. Michael Porter Jr. has only missed three shots tonight. That is amazing. 22 seconds left. Shot clock off. Oh, Darren Fox in the lane. I messed that up. I played terrible defense there. And we're going to have to look for a game winner. All right, here we go. We got 18 seconds left. We're obviously going to give it to DeMar. We're going to run ISO. I mean, DeMar is our best player. So, it makes sense. We got Winslow on him. Let's see. Let's see. I'm not going to go for... I mean, I don't want DeMar shooting a three, so... Give it up to RJ Barry, who's wide open. Bad shot. Yep, that's it. And that's game. We lose by two, which is 100% my fault. Box score for the Kings. Darren Fox, 23 and 11. He didn't shoot good from three. Buddy Heald, 16. Halliburton, 16 and 11. It, we played pretty good defense this game. Michael Porter Jr. had 28. DeMar had 22 on good shooting. RJ, 19, 4 and 4 with two blocks and a steal on our right shooting. Hampton, 13, 6 and 6. He didn't shoot well. Kumenga in his debut, 8 points. Derek White, 7 points off the bench. Hassan, you should, uh, it's 1 for 7. He had 2 blocks. Greg Brown, 5 and 3 with the block. Drogic, very bad. Very disappointing. We got a loss in our first game of the season, but that's going to be for me. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new. GG.